Two big changes for Donald Trump. Well, he can do the math. He knows he's very close to nailing down the Republican nomination. He wants to make it a certainty. So he's shifting his campaign. First, he's hired political professionals to handle his convention strategy. He knows he needs delegates, and he knows his early campaign staffers didn't have the right experience. So in comes Paul Manafort, a political veteran. When the horse training begins in Cleveland, a professional will be in charge for Donald Trump. Now, this is not just tinkering with the campaign. It's a major shift. Trump is moving deep into the political game, and he's playing to win. Second, an equally important shift in the way he presents himself. Speaking for the Trump campaign on this show yesterday, Katrina Pearson told us the words rapist and Mexican would no longer be used in the same sentence. There's a shift. He will make more policy speeches. He will occasionally use a teleprompter. Uh, that should cut down those off-the-cuff insults. And he's considering a speechwriter, and he won't just go on any old TV show that asks him. And he will calm down and try to look more presidential. There you have it. New leadership for the Trump campaign and a new presidential style starting now. Of course, he's taking a risk. His supporters loved the old, brash, abusive, plain-talking Trump. Will they like a restrained, teleprompter guy who plays the political game like all the other politicians? We don't know. But we do know that Donald Trump is very close to clinching the deal. Fox vote counters say that on present trends, he only needs to convert 68 of the 150 unbound delegates to get the nomination on the first ballot. That means he's already very close. This guy learns fast. And you are about to see yet another twist in an election that has surprised and intrigued the whole country.